I was trying to contain his breathing, feeling the moment. Yeah. You know, you know cal calming himself. You know, he's on stream. This is to make it out of the pool. He's got to be feeling right. the nerves. You know, you don't want to be playing bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are, we're way ahead of you on that one. We got it. Thank, thank you for the update. Production letting us know this is to make it out, and uh, you at home know as well. Karsh is the man, by the way. He's helping out. Like, yeah. just shout outs to him. Just doing some work for doing us. Doing some work for us. Catch him every, you know, every Monday and Wednesday. But getting into the match, got two yellow characters on the screen. A Yoshi and a Pac-Man. Tomahawk being the Pac-Man and Maiko being the Yoshi. Huh. All right, so we're going to be hopping into game one. The water actually looks like it was messing with the, with the Galaga. Yeah, the projectile, yeah. The Galaga just kind of getting blown back by the water. You know. We'll see how this matchup ends up playing out just because... Pac-Mans are always so com comfortable working around on the hydrant, you know. Uh, yeah, it really comes down to how familiar is Michael with playing around it. Is he going to focus on hitting it at Pac-Man, or is he going to just kind of ignore it, play around it, and hit Pac-Man to try to set up? So far, it seems like he's going for the opposite approach, where, you know, rather than uh, trying to play around it, he's just trying to play right through it and just play as aggressive as possible and not let him set up. Different different uh, strategies to go to work around some of the setup characters. Yeah. For sure. And the forward air actually breaking it in one hit, and the forward smash catches him approaching as well. Goes for another forward air, not wow. the sweet spot, but won't spike in itself, but a stage spike it will be, and that will be the first stock. The, irony, like of, the irony on that is if he had got the sweet spot, it would hit him straight down into the trampoline. Yeah. But because he didn't get the sweet spot, it, it was stage spike him and I'm, he died. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it was calculated by Michael, very smart player, you know. Knew that he couldn't actually spike him, so he wanted a stage spike instead. Yeah. Those Yoshis, man, they know something about Smash that uh, we all don't know. And they're all diehard Yoshis, usually, they're, like, all the time. Oh, yeah. Yoshi, ride or die. Yoshi named sure do love the character. All right, the bell coming out. He's going to re-grab it, trying to catch Maiko, but not going to do it. Not able to pick it up again. He's got it set up, but it seems like he's getting, you know, Maiko's getting more mileage out of the Hydrant than Tomahawk yeah, what is was, for sure. Oh, what my was that, Maiko? Set up an up special, forced an option, and got the forwarder spike. That time, that was the sweet spot, and it did spike. <laughs> and now Micah with the bell, trying to set up with it, but he's not quite familiar with its trajectory. Yeah, it's uh, red alert time here from uh, Tomahawk. You know, it's, uh, the first game's always that ad adapter, but sometimes when you have so many holes and not sure what's going on, you got to start making ad adaptations now rather than waiting for the second game. It's been rough so far. Michael in complete control. That's probably the first fire hydrant that he's lost, you know, in the exchange the entire yeah. time. Yeah, you know, I think you're correct right there. It's really been, uh, you know, the Michael show here. But the key is going to be enough to take that first stock. Tomahawk nine a little bit of, you know, damage onto Michael. Yeah, caught kind him of sleeping just a little bit. I wonder if Michael just didn't really pay attention that the key was out. Ooh, St Pac-Man has the Stairmaster combos too. Yeah, looking for the Galaga, just uh Repeat, because it loops back, you can catch it again and use it to continue the combo spring. All right, but this stock looking actually really good for Tomahawk right now. Racking up 78%, but now that Maiko has an opening, he's running with it. Yeah, so much pressure. Trying to scare Pac-Man into shield. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, there it is. Dab into jab. the downbeat. Well, you missed Tomahawk's Mario Kart DI <laughs> trying to survive that one right now. He was... a he was leaning out of the chair, ready to like go all out to make sure he survived that. Yeah, good play overall. Maiko sitting pretty comfortable. Got a little smile creeping across his face. He's feeling it. Tomahawk a little, a little more down, trying to search and figure out what kind of adaptations he needs to make. You know, a lot of it, again, we were talking about it, came down to control the fire hydrant. It seemed like anytime Tomahawk got set up, Michael capitalized, yeah. cleared out the fire hydrant. He actually used it to benefit his uh, his game. And Tomahawk just sent him up for Michael and knock it down, you know, and that was really, just, it just kept happening to him. Maybe play a little bit more control. Let's see what adaptation he makes. And Michael on the brink of uh, punching his ticket in the bracket as well. It's crazy to think, you know, all these players, uh, we had like 700 something attendees come through. And it always comes down to one set, make it make it or break it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is really the stressor right here. I like the counter pick here for Tomahawk. Battlefield is going to be very good for him because if he starts saying up, he can't really get jumped in on. Yeah, so far, it's keeping it pretty easy. Staying away from the Hydrant this time, maybe taking a little bit of our advice. 
And there we go, got smash. Wait, short here for Mike. Oh, or for the, Tomahawk, rather. There's his, there's his first uh, hydrant coming out. Now that he has a little bit of a lead, Mike in a little bit of trouble. It's complete reverse grip of the last game. Yeah, like we were saying, you know, Tomahawk took the game one, you know, didn't go too well for him, but he started to figure some things out. And you know what? That's all that matters. In a best of three, it doesn't matter what the game count is as long as you win, right? And in that situation, you saw he threw out that uh, fire hydrant and actually used it to bait Maiko into trying to control it so that he could escape the situation. Actually good usage overall. Probably one of the better fire hydrants, more subtle fire hydrants that we'll see. All right, up throw into the up air actually still avoids the double jump armor break with the down B as well. I know, Tama kind of running away with this photo in spikes into the up air that is going to be true for Maiko. Yeah, but yeah, Yoshi special, got some aggression, clears it out with the up air. The hydrant's out and set up, and Maiko just playing it easy, yeah, and just waiting. All right, Maiko on this top platform right now, trying to pressure, but just goes for the down beat, yeah, I, think he tried to, away. I think he tried to reverse that and went the wrong direction, because he probably knew that roll was coming on the platform for the pressure. Maybe, maybe. Sometimes we make tech errors. There's an egg clearing out the hydrant. Yeah, and I do like that Maiko's using these eggs to pressure the hydrant so that Tomahawk can't set up these projectiles behind it and then throw the hydrant at him. Right. It's just a matter of damage. You know, you got to control that damage gauge on the hydrant. And here we go. Uh, it's pretty close now. Well, it was once a command game. Tomahawk lead the second game. It's now pretty even if uh, Michael can get back. He's right in business. Wow. Fearless forward air. Goes after another one. And Tomahawk's got to make him pay for that kind of stuff, you know? Letting uh, Michael kind of control and dictate the pace of the match. All right, there's the neutral air going to force Tomahawk back off stage, and Michael's really sorry. Edge his way back into this game. The trade he wow, gets up. Oh, that what was a, a side great recovery. Aims it right for the trampoline right there. Yeah, what a recovery. Good presence of mind. Side specials barely makes it back to the trampoline, and he's still in it. It's even. Otherwise, he'd be behind at this point, and red alert for dropping the set. Big plays, critical moments. Ooh, lot of shield pressure right there, but a quick key throw is going to be able to get the pressure off of him. Pressure uh, with the bell, but... Yeah, he had the bell. I thought he had a grab situation right there with the shield pressure coming through. Unfortunately, I don't think he could have really got much yeah. with the grab. Maiko knew it, so he ought to say, you know what, worst case scenario, I get grabbed, we reset. And he's pulled the, pulled the head with the lead. Tomahawk on his last stock here, able to close it out. You know, if he takes another, we can make it a three-game set, but he's got a long way to go. All right, down to right there, into the melon. As anything that he does to try to get a little bit of an edge, it seems like it's getting stuffed out by Maiko. You know, anytime he tries to grab or counter hit, it's those uh, neutral airs or up tilts that are coming out from the Yoshi, really controlling the match. Wow. Ooh, looks for the bomb fair, but doesn't quite find it. Ooh, that, I'm not sure that was supposed to be a forward smash. Yeah, it might have been trying to short hop forward air or something like that to cover it, or it could have been like trying to scout out the air dodge. Maybe, maybe. You know what? He, he did it though, that's all that matters. Tomahawk's still alive in this game, but barely. There we bell. go, big hit with the bell. He still has it. This is his opportunity to really make it happen. All right, he's working his way back into this game. Dangerous percent for the two of them. Michael try to poke through the platform with the up smash, not yeah, gonna do it. He's running in and up smashing raw. Man. <laughs> Michael wants to win. He just, let me end it this way. It's gone on way too long. Close set though. Pac-Man's got a little bit of work to put in some damage, but maybe a rogue support smash, you know, catching Michael being overly aggressive could Back be throw. enough. Luckily for Michael, the, he was the one that broke the hydrant, so it will not hit him. And Tommy's gonna, oh my God. Okay. Like, Tommy's gonna come down to a scruffle for the, uh, for the hydrant. Here's a throw, throw not enough throw. to kill. Not even close to killing, unfortunately for him. But the melon's out, great. Use of the up air, challenge the Z-drop Melon. Now he's pressuring Tomahawk. Tomahawk has to find a way up the neutral oh, air. Neutral air and pop. that pokes through. Michael takes it 2-0 and advances. Popped the nuke and took it out. Tomahawk shaking his head just a little bit. You know, it's unfortunate. Michael trying to get his results on SoCalSmash.net, trying to climb his way up the leaderboards and makes it into the bracket.